Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about post-mortem photography in the Victorian era. Post-mortem photography is the practice of photographing the recently deceased. Photographs of deceased loved ones were a normal part of European and American culture in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Commissioned by grieving families, post-mortem photographs not only helped in grieving, but often represented the only visual remembrance of the deceased a family would have at the time, and were among a family's most precious possessions. For many of those who weren't able to afford the commission of a painted portrait, could afford to sit for a photography session. The cheaper and quicker method also provided the middle class with the means of memorizing dead loved ones. Postmortem photography was very common in the 19th century when death occurred in the home and was quite a normal part of life. As photography was relatively new, it is plausible that many postmortem portraits, especially those of infants and young children, were probably the only photographs ever made of the sitters. The long exposure time made the deceased subjects easy to photograph. Postmortem photography flourished in the early decades of photography. Families often preferred to capture an image of a deceased loved one rather than have no photograph at all. These photographs served as keepsakes to remember the deceased. The practice eventually peaked in popularity around the end of the 19th century and died out as snapshot photography became more commonplace. Early post-mortem photographs were usually close-ups of the face or shots of the full body that would rarely include the coffin. The person would usually be shown in a way to seem like they are in a deep sleep or else arranged to appear more lifelike. Many of these subjects were also clothed in their best apparel. Children were often shown in repose on a couch or in a crib, sometimes posed with a favourite toy or other plaything. It was not uncommon to photograph very young children with a family member, most frequently the mother. Flowers were also a common prop in post-mortem photography of all types. While some images have a rosy tint added to the cheeks of the corpse, it is untrue that metal stands and other devices were used to pose the dead as though they were living. Used by photographers was a stand or armrest, which aided living persons to remain still long enough for the camera's lengthy exposure time, has given rise to this myth. While 19th century people may have wished their loved ones to look their best in a memorial photograph, evidence of a metal stand should be understood as proof that the subject was a living person. Later photographic examples show the subject in a coffin. Some very late examples show the deceased in a coffin with a large group of funeral attendees. This type of photograph was especially popular in Europe and less common in the United States. Postmortem photography is still practiced and is common in America among women who experience stillbirth, where the mother or parents are photographed holding the stillborn child and commemorated on websites such as Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. The style of mother holding child was also common in the Victorian era when death of infants was common. Photographs, especially depicting persons who were considered to be very holy lying in their coffins, are still circulated among faithful Eastern Catholic, Eastern Orthodox and Oriental Orthodox Christians. A variation of the memorial portrait involves photographing the family with a shrine, usually including a living portrait dedicated to the deceased. It's strange to think that we find these images creepy, when only a century ago post-mortem photography was a very normal part of life. If you have enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I make a ton of videos just like this one and I'm planning on uploading daily for October as a Halloween special, so do keep an eye out for my videos. My name is Samantha and thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.